Okay, this is our first photo shoot here in Brando Island. We're in the jungle and I'm going to show you how I'm doing my first photo shoot and I'm not going to use a softbox. This is kind of an interesting thing because everybody thinks the best photos come only from soft boxes and soft lighting. I'm not going to use soft lighting in this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use very hard lighting and still get a really cool effect on it and I'm going to show you how to do it. So the main light source I'm going to use is the AD600 by Godox and it comes with uh, you know this silver bowl which causes a pretty harsh light so what I want to do is I want to focus this because if I was to just use this straight like this on her everything would light up the trees the bushes everything but I only want to want to light up her her face especially her face like mainly from here to here so this is the this is a portable snoot this is a cool thing what it is it's a honeycomb it has a pattern on it which you can see here and that honeycomb focuses the, it's a grid it's a very small grid and it comes in different sizes the honeycombs come in different sizes the smaller the honeycomb is the more narrow the beam is so i've got a pretty narrow one here this is a uh this is a 10 degree this is a 10 they come in 10 degree 20 degree 30 degree so i've got a 10 degree it just goes right on there like that and then you just put it on the light stand and what it's going to do is focus a light only from here to here on her and not light up the whole area which makes it look ugly so it's going to be kind of cool because there'll be a, a pool of light on her and then everything else i'm going to make darker especially back there which is really beautiful with the palm trees and everything and there's blue sky up there you can't see it right now because this video camera is a, adjusting for me but there's beautiful blue sky up there so i want the sky to be dark blue i want to have nice green vegetation but also have her lit up properly so that's what this is going to be doing so that goes on a light stand i'm using impact ls10 so this, this can go up to 10 feet and then back here i have my godox ad360 as a hair light this is more powerful than a 200 and it's smaller and more portable than a 400. so this causes a nice rim light on a, a bright edge on her so what you're going to get is kind of a harsh light coming from above which is going to cause shadows underneath her chin here and other areas like underneath the nose which we don't want so we the secret is to have a second light down below aiming up knocking out the shadows that's why i have a smaller light an ad 200 on my high-tech camera mounting system here i just laid it on my bag aiming up at her face from below it's on a separate channel so i can adjust the light level of the ad 200 so it's not as much light you don't want to have as bright light as the main light but you want to have some light which is going to soften out the shadows underneath the camera i'm using is a sony a7 III. i've got my godox x1 flash trigger so I, each one of these lights can be a different level i've got a sony 35 1.4 by zeiss on here with a polarizing and a nd filter so what the nd filter does is it makes everything really dark in the background and the polarizing filter makes the sky nice and blue. So if there's white clouds and blue sky, it really makes the blue blue and the white white. A really polarizing filter. Anytime you see blue sky, like nice rich blue sky, grab the polarizing filter and turn it until the sky goes really dark. Really amazing effect. All right, so let's take some pictures. Here we go. some of these turn out pretty cool so that was our first shoot for today and I'm gonna be doing a lot of shoots on this trip without softboxes the benefits are several because you get a different look and secondly you get a lot more light so if you're in bright sunlight and you're really fighting the light without having a softbox or any kind of modifier on the front unless it's a, a grid like that you can you have double the amount of light which is really good anyway so uh, stay tuned for more cool photo shoots on this amazing island and I'm going to show you how you can take great pictures 
without soft boxes, which is a lot more convenient to carry around. Uh, wait for the next video. I'll see you. Bye.